video I want to show you how to declare and use and print variables. So here I've got string letter equals whatever that is. Okay, so when I create a variable, okay, firstly a variable is something that will store a value for you. So if you want a value that you want to refer to often in the program or later you want to get back to that value, you've got to store the value in a variable. This particular var variable is going to store any value that is um, a letter from A to Z. It can be a capital letter from A to Z. It can be a number like 1 to 3. Um, and it can be special characters. For instance, I can keep um, my name or I can keep, uh, let's say, my password, which is, of course, 1, 2, 3. Or I can keep a mixture of letters, uppercase, lowercase, and I can put special characters in. So that is what I can put in a string variable. So a string variable is anything, really, that I can type on my keyboard. If I, for instance, keep a string variable 1, 2, 3, that looks like a number, but it's not a number. The reason why it's not a number is I've used the variable, the data type string, to store the value. Okay, so string is the data type. String is going to keep a value, but it, even if I've got numbers in that string, I cannot calculate with those numbers. Also, what is very important is I've got to have double quotes around the value that I want to store in the variable called letter. So anything that I want to store in the variable letter, which is a string variable, has got to be enclosed in double quotes. So this line will declare my variable letter. It declares a variable. The variable is called letter, and its value is 1, 2, 3. If I want to refer to the value, I've got to use the name of the variable. That thing that keeps my value is called letter. And if I want to get to the value, I must use the word letter. Okay? Here, I'm showing you how I can change the value of my variable letter. I just put the letter A into it. In other words, I use this equals command to change and put a different value into the variable letter. So by the equals, I say what is on the right hand side of the equals, put that into the variable which is on the left hand side of the variable, in other words, letter. So I can always amend the value that is in letter. The value that it keeps or stores is now different. When I use this equal command, I update that value, I overwrite the previous value. The previous value of 1 to 3 is now gone. And here I print that value. So when I go string variable plus, it's not going to add, it's not an addition, it's a concatenate. It's going to print both the literal string variable uh, colon space and later it's going to print all of that. Okay, here I'm showing you how to make a value, a variable. This variable is called i. That i is an integer and will keep an integer value. For you. The first time I use I, I've got to specify the data type. So the data type in this case is int. Over there I was using string. Now string can keep anything, but int can only keep numbers and it cannot keep a number that contains a decimal. So it can't keep 2.5 or 10.7 in it. Integer is for whole numbers. And um, here I'm print printing the int. And here I show you how I can update or change the value that was in my integer. So I've got 3 multiply, uh, 2 plus 1, like any type of calculation, I can use exactly the same uh, regulations, like for instance, bot mass, so multiply plus, and divide and minus, and brackets can be used to calculate a value. Um, and that value once the value has been calculated, the equals will put the answer of that calculation into I, removing and obliterating and overwriting the previous value of I, and now this will print that value of I. 
So the output is first the value that I had in my letter. Here is my letter change to I, and it prints that letter. And then um, I've got integer 0, and it prints integer 0, and then it's get, getting 9. So here was it calculating that 9. 3 multiplied 3 is 9, and it prints the 9. So that is all. That's all about declaring variables, using variables, updating the variable, and printing it. Thank you.